Amerindians are continuing to be vocal in their quest to have their rights protected. Today, the Amerindian People's Association held a picketing exercise outside the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs, calling for the Amerindian Act to be revised. The association is questioning the relevance of the Constitution, especially where it says that indigenous peoples shall have the right to be protected, preservation and declaration of their languages, cultural heritage and way of life. It's an extremely backward ruling because what's going to happen here is that the miners are going to feel that they're going to walk into any community they want and, and take away the land and soon indigenous Guyanese are going to be strangers in their own lands. And we want our land. We want our land. The land belongs to us. GGMC is a, and the Guyana Forestry and um, the environmental agency is supposed to be the monitoring and evaluating agency in this country but they cannot defend themselves they can't defend their turf they, they don't have the legislation they're toothless the ruling of the judge would have a domino effect and all the Armenian lands are threatened and it is no it is no strange thing that the Armenians have got this government now in court because somewhere along the line that's the only uh, action they seem to understand they claim that they have an Armenian act that is the best in the world. And here it is. The Armenian Act can't defend us. The APA met with President Donald Ramatar on Tuesday and he pledged to look into their concerns. The land belongs to us. I'm not satisfied with the meeting, although the president said that he will look into the matter. We are, I'm not satisfied with that. I want my land. Last night, the APA held a candlelight vigil and has planned several other forms of protest action to vent their disgust at Justice Diana Insanali ruling. Reporting for Capital News, Boyson Drakes.